Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. What's good, family? I hope that all of you guys are doing well. So, let's go ahead and tap into um, this message from Spirit. Let's see uh, what's going to come out for you guys, okay? All right, so you guys, there's a masculine energy or someone who is in their masculine energy that is thinking about you right now. You have been on this person's mind um, heavily, <laughs> a lot. I'm hearing more so lately than in the past. This could have been someone that didn't really show you much love, right? They didn't, they didn't really, they didn't lead on like you were on their mind. They didn't make you think like, you know, they went out of their way to make you feel like they were, you were not on their mind, okay? This person was really good at hiding their feelings, really good at hiding their emotions for you. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. But they're thinking about you right now, okay? A lot more so now. A lot more now. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What is this masculine energy thinking about? Like, why is he thinking about this feminine energy so heavenly? Wow. He want to date you. He want to court you. I just heard this time. He want to make you his main female. Wow. Hmm. This masculine has also been like discussing you with their friends and their family because I'm hearing that they, they're getting the community involved. So this is like people around them, their friends, their family, their coworkers. Like they've been asking for advice or just pretty much like, for some of you guys, they've been letting them know, not so much as asking for advice, but kind of like preparing them or prepping them for you to be um, in their life, okay? This person may be wealthy or have some type of um, wealth or divine inheritance um, that they're going to be receiving um, by making a step towards you or making a step back towards you, or they may just, you know, be financially stable, but I heard that this masculine energy is thinking about when you guys were courting, like when they first met you. It's something about when they first met you. Okay, I'm getting two different stories. I'm getting that that first story that I just said that I, you know, just channel. And I'm also getting that this person is thinking about how when they first met you, how they let the community get involved. This person let the community get in the way, their friends and their family get in the way of uh, what they know that they should have done with this connection with you, right? They know that they should have taken things to the next level with you. Like they let their friends and their family, they let the community dictate what they what they what they did with you. You know how far they took this with you. They 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 feel like they should have made you their main. They should have made you their main priority or their main female or the main male in their life. They let the community get in the way. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. What else is this masculine thinking about right now? Wow, shapeshifter. So this masculine is thinking about how he shapeshifted with you, how he presented himself to be one way and how he turned out to be another way. Like I'm hearing that you never really got to see the real side of this, of the real side of this masculine. You never really got to see this side of them or any like they hid who they were from you. They shapeshifted. It's like this, I'm hearing that this person went from being loving, charming, caring, giving, considerate, and understanding to just, I'm hearing very ruthless, vile energy, very awful towards you. That's because they let the community tell them not to deal with you. They let the community um, dictate how they were to handle you. For, for some of you guys, I'm hearing like a sister energy or a feminine energy, like the matriarch in their family. This masculine is also thinking about how time is running out or how he just about let time run out with you or that he wasted too much time. I pushed you away to protect you. So they're trying to say that they pushed you away, that they mistreated you to protect you. 
to protect them from what? What did what did the collective need protecting from Holy Spirit? What did the collective need protecting? This person could have been married. Judication. Wow. So for some of you guys, this person pushed you away because they were already legally married to somebody else, legally tied to another person, and they didn't want to get you in, caught up and involved in their legal matters. They didn't want to get you caught up in that. Tell me more. Something is about to take, take place or shift on a distant horizon between you and this person. Like I'm hearing a sudden change, something more stable with the anchor energy being here. I'm honestly feeling like this person is going to anchor their placement in your life. This is going to catch you guys off guard. This is going to be something that's coming up in the distant horizon for you guys. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, and it's like you're expecting this or this person, they know that you're expecting this. This person know that you're expecting their return. You are expecting them to return. You are expecting some type of communication, some type of um, change, some type like I'm hearing like their arrival after something dealing with a court, a court matter with adjudication here. <sighs> this person has matured since the last time y'all have met. Some of you guys, this, they may already be older. Either this, mas this masculine is older or they just have matured. You could have been away from this masculine for five years. I'm hearing up to five years. Or you have ex you are expecting them to have been matured or to be mature about the situation. Wow. This masculine energy has been working like overworking toil and labor. What is going on, Spirit? Why why have they been burying themselves and work like this? What's going on with their finances? They feel like they have to work hard. Sudden wealth. Yeah, this yeah, this masculine is concerned about his finances. Yeah, he's concerned about him not having enough to come towards you. Uh, great fortune. Great fortune and sudden wealth and concern. So money is definitely a concern for this masculine energy here, you guys. It's definitely a concern. It's like they want to master wealth before they come towards you. So if you were like... Waiting for this masculine to like divorce someone to come towards you or cut out a karmic situation to come towards you. Like the divorce may already be final, like, or he's already wrapped up a situation with a karmic energy that he was spiritually tied to. Um, but it's like now he's trying to master wealth. This is why he's working. He's working so hard. I almost stumbled over my words. So this masculine don't know what to say to you. Or he hasn't been talking to you. Yeah. I'm hearing because it's been so long. You haven't heard from them. It's been so long. And you make this masculine nervous. You make this person nervous. Hoping I reach you before it's too late. So there's like a um, an issue with time. And there's like an issue with it being too late uh, between you and this person. My ego got the best of me. I'm sorry. So I feel like this person made a uh, decision that was best for them. So whatever this was, they were operating out of their ego, right? And they felt like cutting you off would just be, it would just be better for them. You know, even though I feel like this masculine energy loves you. They just feel like it would have been better for them at the time, you know? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Hey, hey, I want to be a rock star. All right. You make my new lover jealous and insecure. So if this masculine was dealing with anybody external to you, this 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 other energy is very jealous of you. They're very concerned with this masculine's feelings for you to focus on the material world. So yeah, they are very, very focused on the material world at this time. They don't feel like they have enough. I should have told you what you mean to me. So they feel like they wasted so much time being in this energy of ego, right? That they never told you how they feel for you. 
a lot of you guys, they feel like you're not going to want to hear it because they wasted so much time. You know, like this person had ample time to come, come towards you and tell you how they feel. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This person feel like you guys are connected on a soul level, on an energetic level, on a spiritual level. Too stupid to speak up, too sneaky to be honest. Yeah, they, the overall, well not the overall, but the strongest energy from this person is they did not speak up. They, they wish they would have used their words to express to you how they feel for you before they made this foolish decision to turn their back on you um, while they were getting out of some type of commitment. They should have at least told you before they left how they felt, how they feel for you, okay? This masculine is also sending you guys sexual energy. And what else? Wow, sun god. Yeah, the sun is definitely a masculine energy, you guys. So this... <laughs> This uh, masculine energy and the sun god energy, um, they have been sending you guys sexual energy, trying to tap into you, trying to make you feel them so that you would possibly reach out to them or you would energetically wait on them. They, it's like they want you to think of them while they're not around you so that you wouldn't be interested in dealing with anybody else. So... All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick reading. Um, love and light to you guys.